What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be showcasing Iron Leaves on the rank regulation F ladder. Now, Iron Leaves, just like Walking Wake, was brought into this game at a random time. They just dropped them into the game and they weren't allowed to be used in ranked up until now. So now we finally have a chance to showcase Iron Leaves. And this Pokemon is actually really strong, especially in the electric terrain. So we're pairing it up with Thunderous to get that electric terrain out on the field and get this Pokemon more. Iron Leaves has Cork Drive, boosts one of its stats in that terrain, which makes it so good. And on top of that, it's holding the Focus Ash as its item. And that's its signature move, Psyblade, which actually gets a 50% increase in that electric terrain. Pair that up with the Psychic Terror type, this thing is a massive threat, doing some big time damage. We also got Close Combat, we got Protect, and we also have Sword Sands to make this thing go plus two on physical attack. So like I said, very strong Pokemon, really, really strong in that electric terrain. Talking about electric terrain, we got Thunders in our second slot with Prankster and the Mental Herb as item. It's got Weather Control, it's got Terrain Control, and it also has Speed Control. Really like this Pokemon to pair up, be a nice little support Pokemon on this squad. We're also rocking out with Iron Hands, and Iron Hands is always good on its own, but boosting it up with Quark Drive with that Let's Train makes this thing even better, so cannot wait to use that Pokemon as well. The final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fluttermane, Primarina, and Incineroar. Fluttermane and Primarina give us some nice special attack and damage, and Incineroar really, really good at those stat drops, considering this one is Rocking Snarl, so we can drop a special attack with that. We got Parting Shot to drop both attack stats, and then on top of that, obviously, we're rocking Intimidate to drop physical attack every time this Pokemon enters the battlefield. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Iron Leaves. Before we hop into our first match, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of Jordy. Thank you so much for sending me this team over on Twitter. I will be linking his pages down in the description below alongside with the Pokeface. So if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, it will be down there. But we're going up against a Rhyperior Trick Roomish team. Here in match number one, they got Cresselia to pop Trick Room. They're also rocking Gouging Fire and Latias, two very strong Pokemon for Regulation F. Last but not least, they have Gyarados with that Intimidate. And finally, they are rocking out with, uh, what is that Pokemon? Amoongus for a little bit of support. So special attackers could be really good for me, but I kind of want to go into Iron Leaves here. I like Iron Leaves, but if they drop my attack stat, I don't like that one bit. I seriously don't like that one bit. So I could potentially like Sword Stance here. I could go Iron Leaves and Thunderous. Set the terrain, really start getting after it that way. Rhyperior, definitely a little bit of a threat, kind of annoying, especially within the Trick Room. So I kind of want to go Primarina and maybe as a late game Pokemon. Could go Iron Hands and maybe save our Grass Terror for that. That's not bad as well. That's something I actually really like. So we're going to try to set the terrain here. We're going to look to get after it. I wonder who they're going to lead. Gyarados could be lead. If Gyarados does end up coming out here for the lead, I feel as we might just want to set up a Sword Dance with Iron Leaves, right? We might just want to set up the Sword Dance. But if they're going for Trick Room, at that point, we might just want to start attacking. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we should have led, like, Iron Hands. But we do have Iron Hands kind of deal with a little bit of Trick Room problems. That's something I really, really like. That is something I like. They go right here and they go Latias. Now, Latias can pop Trick Room. Um, right here might just protect here. Right here might just protect here. And to be honest, this could be a little tough. I think we might still want to just set this electric terrain just to get double damage here. But close combat isn't really doing anything. This thing, I think right here protects here most likely, right? I think we might just set up the sword stance. I think we should just set up the sword stance. Look to go plus two here. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. So we're going to see a Terra come out here turn one, probably into the Rhyperior slot. I think we're ready to hit Grass. Yeah. And he's just going to go straight Dragon. So yeah, we probably should just side blade at that. That could have been pretty solid. But if they don't pop Trick Room, I really like what we're saying. But out comes that Electric Terrain. We are going to get a nice little speed boost. I'm curious to see what they're doing. It might just double down to Iron Leaves. That could be... That, that would be no bueno. No good. We get that Quirk Drive boosting. My attack is going to get boosted here. I'm gonna pop a sword stance. I'm gonna pop the sword stance. And Dragon Cheer is gonna come out here. So he is just guaranteeing crits here. Alright, that's scary. We, we we don't like this. Not one bit. Not one bit. We can't allow that. Breaking swipe coming through here. And how much damage is this doing? Okay. 
Okay, I, I don't mind. That's a cool combo, but drop my attack now. Um, I think we just Thunder Wave this Latias. And on top of this, we just start ripping side blades. I could actually Terrasalize straight Psychic, which isn't bad for me. And just to get that massive boost and just try to take out this right here because it is a physical bulk. So I am just going to do that. I'm going to Terrasalize and look to get after it. So Dragon Cheer on the Latias. Really cool. We're going straight into a Psychic Terror. Looking for Iron Leaves to just start winning. It's plus one on attack. It's got the Psychic Terror. It's double damage, or I should say 50% increase with Psy Blade here. And stab boost on top of that. We love it. So Thunder Wave's gonna fly. We are gonna paralyze the Latias. Not trying to deal with that. And we're just gonna look to rip into this right here, right? Can we KO it? I think we should. This should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. Side Blade looking amazing. Such a cool move. And it just dumps on right here. And if we have any type of RNG luck today, we will get a paralyze here. Hopefully, right? A big time paralyze would be awesome. It would be awesome. Man. And it is awesome. Let's go. Let's go, big time paralyze. Leaving Iron Leaves on the field for a solid, solid, solid outing here. Because now he's going to go into Gatherers. You're going to intimidate me. I'm still even on the attack board. I don't mind being even. And honestly, I think I just... I've We outspeed Gyarados, but I think I just paralyze it, right? I think I just paralyze it. Actually, I just think I just go for Wild Bolt Storm. Four times super effective, we do that. And then we just go after... Latias with Sideblade. I know it's not very effective, but still, the damage output could be pretty solid. Could be pretty solid. The Wild Bolt Storm flying through here. Not worried about you, Gyarados. I'm not worried about you. Gonna end up hitting the Latias, which is nice. Doing about six and a half damage. Nothing crazy in Sideblade. How much damage are you doing? I know you're not very effective, but I still have high hopes you're hitting hard. Let's see. That's some nice damage. We like that damage. He's gonna end up Tailwind boosting. Okay, so Tailwind's gonna come out here. Um, I think we just still go for a Wild Bolt Storm. And we just protect Iron Leaves here. I like the protection of Iron Leaves. Or I could just get rid of Latias. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Latias. The Waterfall is gonna fly through here. We soak this up all day. And I believe we still outspeed that Latias. Yep, awesome. Wild Bolt Storm going to finish off the Gyarados. Four times super effective. And Iron Leaves should outspeed this Latias that now is paralyzed. Actually, it might not, because they're in Tailwind, too. Let's see. No, we do. All right, see you later, Latias. So Iron Leaves ripping up in match number one. Absolutely killing it. Honestly, that paralyze was huge, but I think we would have won this match regardless. Once I set up this Pokemon, start ripping with side blades, got rid of that right here. It was perfect. It was perfect. I was actually scared at first. Is that Dragon Cheer? Woo! That Dragon Cheer into the Dragon Terra. Was just looking terrifying. End up going into Gouging Fire. I'm gonna look to paralyze this Pokemon. Oh no, not Electric Train. I'm gonna look to paralyze it. I'm just going to rip another Side Blade into this Pokemon, which they probably just cancel, right? Iron Leaves just killing it. No, they don't cancel. So we throw the Paralyze. We're looking for the sweep here. We have no attack boost. They neutralize that. We went plus two. They put us minus two. And Side Blade is now flying again. The so Stab, Terror type in the terrain. And it's almost KO. So we don't get the sweep. Unless he's paralyzed. Unless he's paralyzed. But I doubt it, right? I think he just takes out my iron leaves. But he's paralyzed. The, the, the pokey guys want to give us a sweep today. So we're winning this regardless of any paralyzes. I feel bad for our opponent for actually getting that. But hey, I'll take this all day. I'll take this all day. That's going to be a win. It's going to be a sweep. It's going to be a sweep. Battle was canceled now. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 dominating with iron leaves. What a hot start to today's video, rocking out with Iron Leaves, but we're going up against a T-Tar team here in match number two, and T-Tar can counter Iron Leaves pretty well, but, but we do have close combat to actually deal with the Dark type, so that's not too bad. We could go into Iron Leaves again, they also have Latias, they got Amoongus, they got another Dark type with Incineroar, and another Intimidate user with Lander, so double Intimidate user, physical attackers are looking scary for me, so maybe my special attackers are the way to go here. I could lead Prima Arena, it's going to be solid. I could also lead a Pokemon like Thunderous just to kind of get some speed control on. Or I could just go into an Intimidate user of my own because I do have a few physical attackers. So I'm thinking going the Alolan starter buddies in Cinemore Prima Arena. Yeah, that's definitely something I like. That is definitely something I like. On top of that, Fluttermane's going to be great. And last but not least, Iron Leaves with the Sash because we're showcasing in today's video, we might want to bring it. Iron Hand's not bad either. One of the irons 
And looking at their Pokemon, Iron Leaves with the Sash could clutch up. Side Blade's gonna be super effective onto the Moongus. We have close combat to deal with the T-Tar. Oh man, this is tough. But again, Intimidates are just such a huge threat, so special attackers are gonna be my friends. You know what, screw it. Actually, do we want Fake Out user? Nah, nah, screw it, screw it. We're, go we're going Iron Leaves. We are going Iron Leaves. So, match number one went perfectly. We have to showcase that combo right off the rip. Pop the electric terrain. Quirk drives were boosting, no problem. And then Side Blade was doing 50% increased damage, just dumping on. Just dumping. So, beautiful. Beautiful. And then we popped the Terror too, which gave it a double damage boost. It was huge. But Latias comes out here alongside with Lando. So, Fake Out could be good here. I am scared of any type of ground moves. I might just Fake Out the ins, or not the instant, the Lando. And then pop my throat spray. I could snarl here as well. Snarl's not bad, but let's just fake out this turn one. Let's try to get a throat spray popping, right? Yeah, that's something I like. Let's just get a throat spray popping. So we'll fake out the Lando. They could hard swap the Lando, which might be their play. Maybe I should have faked out the Latios. I think I should have now that I'm thinking about it. I think they're going to hard swap the Lando. But faking out the Lando, if they do stay in, is a big play for us. So I don't mind going into fake out into that slot. Yeah, see, I, I, come on, man. <laughs> come on. They're gonna hard stop. They're gonna, they're gonna bring back their Intimidate. And they're gonna go into Emungus. Emungus comes out here. A little annoying. They're just gonna straight to Rastalize Lottie. So they think we're going into the, uh, the fairy move. But we're not. They're gonna go into, and it's a little Steel Terror type. So now we can actually do some nice damage onto that. And I wonder what Lottie has go. Going into a fairy Terror type with a Fire Pokemon on the field. Big God's gonna clap up into Emungus. And I take some damage with Rocky. Latias goes for a Mist Ball, which isn't too bad. Actually, that 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 is pretty bad. That did some crazy damage to me. That did a bit too much damage to me. But I'm gonna get life numbers. So my play here could be to just start attacking with fire moves, but I might just snarl. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna snarl and just protect. And the reason I want to do that is I want Pre-Marina to get off at least one more turn. So by protecting it here and snarling at the same time. It will drop special attack. It will allow Primarine to get back a little bit of HP. And then from there, I can uh, probably soak up another shot from Latias. So Rage Powder comes out here. Good thing it's not the Spore. And we're really hoping Latias is going after Primarine here. It is. Cool. So that's not a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn whatsoever. The Snarl now flying. And I drop both their special attacks. Cool. That's big time. That's big time. Now, something I want to check is speeds for my Pokemon. Incineroar, are you faster than Primarina? 107, you are. Now, that works good because now I could just Flare Blitz this thing. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Flare Blitz. And on top of that, just Hyper Voice again. I like that. I like that a lot. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Looking to soak up the shot. He ends up withdrawing the moves, which is fine. Maybe you saw the Flare Blitz coming into the slot. And who are you going to go into here? T-Tar. So that's actually pretty good for us as long as my Primarina gets off a shot here. If Primarina gets off a shot, that's massive. That's massive. Miss Ball flying here. Can you soak this? You don't. So I did all that for what? All that for what? That could have been a big turn for us. That really could have. That could have been a great turn. Can we get a burn on this T-Tar maybe? No. Not a chance. That, man... It could have been such a good turn for us. It really could have. It really could have been a big turn for us. But from here, I mean, going into you is not bad. But at the same time, it's kind of tough. Because of that, what's it called? That Latias. But I think I'm still going to go into this slot. I think I'm still going to do that. I know you got the Steel Terror type. I doubt you have Terror Blast. I doubt you have Terror Blast. But that just hurts that I didn't get off that turn. But from here, I'm just going to go into Flare Blitz. And on top of that, we're going to choice into Dazzle Gleam, right? Probably our best bet. They have a Moongus we could do some damage with and Lando. I think Dazzle Gleam is just our, our best bet, right? So I'm going to go Flare Blitz here. I'm going to look to just pop a Dazzle Gleam. And we'll go from there. As long as you don't have Terror Blast, we should be fine. End up withdrawing Latias. That's fine. A Moongus, maybe? What are you going into? You're going to Intimidate me again? Now you're going to a Moongus. So a Moongus is going to have to eat up this, this Flare Blitz here. Dazzle Gleam is going to rip up some damage here. And...
Wait a minute. Why did that do any damage to Tar? What, what? Am I missing something here? I gotta be missing something. Why did that do like three damage to Titar? Let me see these stats real quick. Give, give me a second, people. Give, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me... Wh what is going on? I don't see the problem. When did Titar get that bulky? I'm very confused. I am super confused here. I am super confused here. A bit too confused. When, when did T-Tar get that bulky? I gotta be missing something. I'm missing something here. I am missing something. Look at this. That thing is soaking like crazy. <laughs> I'm so confused, bro. I'm choice spec on Fluttermane. You're definitely vested, but still, I just not expecting it to do that kind of damage, right? That's like nothing to Titar. Wow. Knockoff coming out here. That's going to kill my Fluttermane. This thing is just ripping. This thing is ripping, so this one's not looking good for us. Because they're just gonna bring out Lando after this. So they're gonna intimidate two my two my physical attackers. I mean, maybe I can start getting after it, but still the buffets are just going to eventually take out the Incineroar here. But I get to bring out my Incineroar, they'll probably bring out Lando. But that's just crazy that Titar soaked like that. Two dazzling gleams with choice spec. I was gonna say, like, is my Pokemon not EV trained? But it is. But it is. Intimidates come out here. And from here, we definitely need to just... Could fake out close combat this. Might be my best bet. He might even protect the T-Tar. No, he doesn't. He does not. But I'm looking just to KO the Latias here. I get a crit with my fake out. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. And I'm going to close combat and finish this thing off. Do I get rid of Latias? Um, I can outspeed. My defense is down, but I can outspeed the T-Tar at least. But I don't think we're KOing this land, though. This land, though, seems like a big-time problem. A big-time problem. So this match, not looking good for us. We didn't play bad here, but this T-Tar just going nuclear, right? Going nuclear. And I'm going to lose my boy here to Buffets. Hate this game. God dang sandstorm KO my Pokemon. But yeah, I'm down low on HP. I will outspeed, but at this point, it's it's tough. Because I can KO the T-Tar with a close combat, but I'm not KOing this thing before it KOs me. And he could be Choice Scarf, too. He could be Choice Scarf. And I guess we'll find out, because I want to KO the T-Tar. I want this thing dead. I want this thing dead. He's going to protect here and keep his T-Tar alive. I'm going to be so upset. Nope, he just outspeed with that Choice Scarf. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number two, going to this T-Tar squad. Final match is here, and were any of you guys just as surprised as me to see how much that Tarantar was soaking up that shot? Come on, man. Maybe I probably should have Thrasilized there, gave Fluttermane that boost, because I believe I didn't even use Thrasilize in the last match, which is on me. But yeah, I definitely should have Thrasilized into that fairy, but still, I think we would have lost that match regardless. But we're hopping into our third and final match, going up against a Metagross team with Shen Pao on it, alongside with Urshfu, Whimscott for a nice little speed control, and then they got Ogre Pond and Sheer Force Lander. So pretty strong squad here, a lot of different meta Pokemon. How should I play this one? I could go Iron Leads, could go Thunders here again. I kind of like Thunders more so for just like speed control. I think that can work out fine. I mean, we could go Primarina to maybe try to pop Throat Spray. That's definitely a good option, but I kind of like Thunders here. I think we're going to have to start Paralyzed Pokemon early on here. Try to get that speed control rolling, so I'm going to go him. I'm also going to roll out with Primarina, right? He also got Ice Cream. That will be four times super effective onto that, uh, 
onto that sheer force lander. So that's something I really like. I'm gonna bring Iron Leaves in the backing because I can eventually pop that Quirk Drive if need be. And then last but not least, we could go into Iron Hands. I got 15 seconds to choose. Um, hmm. Or we could go Incineroar. Or Flutterman. I kind of like Flutterman. Actually, I like Iron Hands a bit more here. Iron Hands is just so solid. Especially if they have Metagross with Bullet Punch. Fluttermane stands no chance with the Fairy Tower type. Just going to get absolutely murked on. First turn priority, stab, super effective. It's just going to wipe it out, no problem. So, again, we don't really stand a chance up against that Metagross. So, I'm just going to bring in Iron Hands. Try to pop that Electric Terrain again, right? They have no terrain control. I would like to get that. Just go from there. So, they're going to end up leading the Super Pokemon. So, that's not bad. I got Pre Marina ready to drop some. Ready to drop an Ice Beam. Ready to drop an Ice Beam. And to be honest, um, from here, I could Thunder Wave this thing, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Thunder Wave and I'm just going to Ice Beam? I'd rather Ice Beam this thing and just KO it instead of pop a Throat Spray, right? That's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to hope no Terra comes out here because then I would have wished I would have popped the. Uh, Hyper voice, but no, he is not terrestrializing. He's leaving his Lando on the field, which is very nice for me. Thunder Wave is going to miss. Doesn't affect him. Which is odd. But still, I feel like I used that move in the past and it did affect the ground types. But still, Ice Beam's KO in regardless. Okay, so that's a solid turn for us. That's weird. That's weird. But I could have sworn I used like I know electric doesn't affect ground, but I could have sworn I used Thunder Wave. Or like uh, an electric move, like Eerie Impulse, and it affected special attackers, but or a uh, ground type of one. But I guess Thunder Wave doesn't do it, so that one's on me. It ends up going into you. I can't Thunder Wave you because you're Dark type. Um, I think now's the time to pop the terrain and maybe just try to get some damage off here with the Moon Blast. But yeah, I'm popping terrain. I need some Speed Control. We need to start getting it. So I could go into Iron Hands here next, or I could go into Iron Leaves. Both very solid options. I guess I'm just protecting the Shen Pao. That's not bad. I don't mind that turn. And Lecture Train is on the field. So we'll see what, what Whimscott wants to do. It could be Encore me, which could be annoying. It could definitely be annoying if you're Encore me. Now you're just going for Moon Blast. You're going to finish off the Pre Marina. Okay, so Pre Marina got some value off. We're wasting out some Tailwind turns at this point. We got rid of Sheer Force Lando, which is big time. And from here, do I go Iron Leaves or do I go Iron Hands? I think now's the time to go Iron Hands, right? I could fake out that Shen Pao. I could start dropping some Wobble Storms if I wanted. Or I could just Drain Punch it. I could double down into it. That's not bad for me. What's your Terror type? Ghost. You have a Ghost Terror type. Um, your Grass Terror type with the Soul Vest. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. The, I'm gonna go in Iron Hands. Here. So Iron Hands comes out here. I could Drain Punch the Shen Pao, which I think is probably my best bet. They do have Terror type, and they could just Terrasalize Shen Pao into Ghost. That's that's a likely option. If that's the case, I might just want to heavy slam into this thing. Or even just wild charge. Because if you do have ghost terror type, which most likely you do, you're going to use it now. So I'm going to go into wild charge. I'm going straight into wild charge. I'm not dealing with it. you got to be ghost terror type. There's no other terror type for you. There's no other terror type for you. So instead of faking it out, we're going for a drain punch. We're going into a wild charge here. And Chen Pao is terrestrializing into the ghost terror type. Make that read all day. I can make that read all day. There's only one good terror type to jump out, and it's Ghost. <laughs> and it's Ghost. Let's be honest. So he's going to end up encore me. So annoying. So annoying. And I got Mental Herb. Come on, man. Mental Herb clutching up. And now he gets to go for an Ice Spinner in this slot. And get a crit. That's a little absurd. Don't you think? And he take out my terrain, too. Which, like, come on, man. You got to stop that. Really? Really taking out my terrain? But still, we're gonna get rid of Shen Pao here. We are getting rid of Shen Pao. Wild Charge flying through here. Get on out of here. We're not dealing with that ghost terror type. Get that ghost terror type out. Get it out of here. Get it out of my face. So from here, I'm gonna reset the electric terrain. You're not ice spinner and you're not or not. You're not ice spinner and taking it out. I'm gonna set it up again. I have iron leaves in the back end. And they're gonna throw out Metagross. So Metagross comes out here. Electric Terrain flying. I want that Quirk Drive boost. And do I just Heavy Slam? Do I start Drain Punching? I think we just try to maybe get rid of this thing. I could Terrasalize you in the grass. Grass is not bad. But he's going to eventually Encore me. I think we just Grass Terror here. 
Where do I save my terror type? Or fighting? Or uh, for psychic? No, I think we just terrestrialize here. I think we need our iron hands to survive. So with the combination of assault, that's... I think he wants to, what's he called? Try to take out iron hands with moon blast. And then maybe just attack my Landa or my Thunders with Metagross. As long as they don't double down in Iron Hands here, we should pick up a KO and be sitting in a great position. So we reset this Electric Terrain. I want it for my Iron Man's late game. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Get that Quirk Jack boost as well. Lovely. Attack is heightened. We're not playing around. There's the Moon Blast. We soak this up with the Terror type. And hopefully not double down. You are double down, you little booger. Because now we can just Encore me. So now he's gonna encore me. Um, whew, what do I do from here? Now you're gonna encore me, and Tailwind's gone. Tailwind's gone, which is huge. We have to bring out Iron Leap, so Tailwind is gone. Oh, this one's tough. This one's real tough. Are they gonna set up another Tailwind? That's the real question. I get the Quirk Drive boost, so I get the Speed boost. Tailwind is gone. This is such a solid match. Do they encore me? Maybe? I gotta go into Wild Bolt Storm here. And I just gotta go into Side Blade here, right? Good finish off you. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish off Wimscott. If he sets up Tailwind, he sets up Tailwind. I'm gonna get rid of Wimscott because this Side Blade should be able to finish it off. Oh my lord, what is going on here? Such a good match. I think he's gonna Encore me with that move, right? If I were him, I'd do that. I think that's her best bet. So he is going to Encore me. Oh, man. Chill on me. Iron Lee's going to outspeed. It's just going to get rid of the one Scott. And from here, how much damage is this Metagross doing? That's the real question. You going for Psychic Fangs, Meteor Mash? What you got cooking? Iron Head. How much damage is this doing? Bull Punch can KO me. A little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. How many turns are left in this? Encore. We should have, I think it's two turns. So, I, mm, this is tough. <laughs> we gotta go for a life train, and I think I just protect here. I might try to double protect here, because he's probably going for bullet punch for a second, right? B punch? Are you B punching me? What are you doing? No way you, you read that protect. Are you sticking with Iron Head? Sticking with Iron Head. Which is crazy to me. We gotta go for Electric Train one more time. And from here, we're just gonna go for a close combat. Let's do as much damage as we can. So, are you going for Bull Punch or not? Are you sticking with Iron Head? Do you even have Bull Punch? You don't. So, I get off one more turn with him. Not bad damage. And we actually have a fighting shot here now. We have a fighting chance. We have a fighting chance. Because Iron Head's flying here. We wasted out another turn of Encore. And this is such a good matchup. Come on, man. Come on, Jeans. Come on, Jeans. You got this. All day. My Encore ended. I got the terrain cooking. Wild Bolt Storm coming in hot here. Hopefully two of them can KO. Right? He hasn't bullet punched once. Wild Bolt Storm flying. Ooh, one more. Oh, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it close. Oh, we get the para, though. We get a para. So a huge paralyze could be, could be huge. And paralyze has just been helping us out all day today. Match number one and in match number three. The terrain is gone. We're going for Wild Bolt Storm yet again. 80 accuracy. And I think if we land one more, we, we win this match. Does it KO? It does. Beautiful. So solid third and final match. Came down to the wire. Iron Leaves and Thunders clutching up again. And we go 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record on the channel. Rocking out with Iron Leaf today. I loved it so much, especially paired up with Thunders. We got to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. We only lost match number two, and I didn't use my Terra in that match, but hey, it's all good. We'll take a winning record any day of the week, right? Iron Hands was great. Alongside with that Electric Train, we got Premium Arena rocking out in match number three, dropping Lando with Ice Beam, which was really, really big. And last but not least, Incineroar always doing its job. It's never not doing its job. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.